Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel 51. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 49 to 52. Hey, this YouTuber asked, hey, I have a loan schedule and I have a payment that I'm calculating. So as I change the variables here, this uh, period payment changes, but there's data validation in this cell and we could have 12 periods per year or two periods per year. So two periods per year would be a semi-annual payment. And the question was, hey, how do I create a label here? So it says your monthly payment is or your quarterly payment is or your annual payment is. Well, here what we're going to do is we're going to create a label using our join symbol ampersand, which is just a fancy way of the, saying the and symbol, and a VLOOKUP. Let's start our label formula. Make this a little bit bigger right here. In this cell right here, I'm going to say equals oh, uh, double quote your space and double quote. That's the first thing in our text formula. Then we have to use the ampersand, shift 7. And what we need here is we need a variable that's either annual, semi-annual, quarterly, monthly, or weekly. So we're going to use a VLOOKUP based on this cell right here. VLOOKUP, where is the lookup value? There. Comma, where is the table? I'm going to click here. And the lookup, uh, the Value, we're looking up the number 2, so it comes through this column. When it finds 2, it jumps over to semi-annual. So there's the whole table. Comma, now where is the thing we're returning from the table? It's from the second column. This is column 1. This is column 2. So we want that semi-annual to be deposited into this text formula. So now we're going to say 2. That means take whatever uh, is in the second column. So it, VLOOKUP finds 2, jumps over to the semi -col second column. Comma, and we need to type a zero here because we want an exact match. We don't want, we want it to find either one, two, four, and nothing in between. So I'm going to type a zero. That means exact match. Close parentheses. Now, so far, if I hit control enter, it just says your semi-annual, if I change this drop down to four, your quarterly. So let's click back in here and hit F two for edit mode, which puts your cursor at the end, and continue creating our text format. Your monthly. Now we need to ampersand, and in quotes, space payment. Uh-oh, spell check. Oh, this is great since I'm such a bad typer. If you close parentheses and control enter, that bad spelling is hard coding in. Spell check will not find it. So you got to hit F2. you got to spell check. And the keyboard shortcut for spell check is F. Oh, yeah, F7. I just turned off my video. I have to go to review and then ABC. Notice it says F7 there in that little screen tip, but that turns off my recorder, so I can't do that. Hey, look at that. So the only way you can spell check when you're concatenating and using your join symbol, etc., is to do it while formula is in edit mode. I get in more trouble because I do all sorts of labels like this all the time, and I always forget to spell check while I'm in edit mode. All right, so your whatever payment, and actually, we need to get rid of that quote because we t have to type is, space, end quote. Now we want and, and we want to click on the cell. Now notice I can't click on that cell right now. Now I could type C10, but can I use my arrow keys? Wait a second, look at this. My arrow keys are not going in, in, they're not in point mode. What's really convenient about the arrow keys when you're creating a formula is that you can use the arrow keys to put cell references in a formula. Notice it says edit down here. Um, I'm in edit mode, so that means my arrow is going to move back and forth. When I hit F2, look what down, it says down here, enter, and now I can hit, um, use my arrow key to get my cell reference. So sometimes when you're in the middle of formula and you like to use your arrows to get cell references, you got to look down here. Notice once you get into point mode, it says point. All right, now I have that, and I'm going to um, hit enter. Oh, your quarterly payment is, what's going on there? Remember, concatenating or any Excel formula does not look at formatting. So this has got currency format here. It never formulas do not look at formatting. So I'm going to hit... Uh, click on that cell and hit F2, and I have to use my uh, uh, format this as a word. So I'm going to click right before the C10, and I'm going to use the dollar function. The dollar function. By default, the dollar function um, 
rounds to the second decimal, so you don't need that last argument. I'm going to close parentheses, but I do want to put a minus in front of here just to make this work because um, dollar does currency, and when currency sees negative, it puts a negative sign or um, an accounting negative parentheses. So I want to put a negative so in the, the actual label, it comes up positive. The payment will actually indicate that this is a cash flow out. Now I'm going to hit enter. And there it is. That's your quarterly payment is. I could even hit this um, cell again, hit F2. And at the end, ampersand, double quote period, double quote if you wanted a period. So your month quarterly payment is. Now let's try this. This is so cool. I'm going to click up here and say uh, 12. Oh, your monthly payment is. Notice, uh, of course, this formula is based on total number of periods, which is based on this 12. So when we have our data validation and we select any one of these, all of these math formulas update, but so does our label here. That is so awesome. All right, that's VLOOKUP and the join symbol and concatenation. We'll see you next YouTuber trick.